Welcome everyone. I hope you're in a nice, comfortable position, feeling safe in your space, feeling warm. Remember what is comfortable to you is comfortable to you. So even if you're somewhere that somebody else might think hmm, that looks uncomfortable, if it's comfortable to you, that's the best choice. We will start as always with a body scan. Whatever position you choose, remember you are not committed to it. If at any time it gets too uncomfortable, feel free to move. If at any time you wanna change your position, anything about it, it's better that you um, respond to that. On the first instance, what I will ask you all to do uh, is I will ask you to pick your position as you're feeling safe, take a deep breath. And when you breathe out, completely let go everything go and choose also what feels natural on this moment. Do you wanna keep your eyes open? Do you wanna lower your gaze? Do you wanna close your eyes? Remember, much like in the position you choose at any time, you can open or close your eyes. Thank you, everyone. So, taking again another deep breath. When you breathe out, allowing your gaze to lower or completely close your eyes. Prepare yourself for this body scan. In the next few moments, what I will ask of you is just to watch your breathing. Just peacefully watch your breathing. And as you watch your breathing also, you might want to see what comes up for you. What happens? Are you still busy? with the thoughts of the day earlier? Is your brain also busy with the thoughts of the day that is ahead? Acknowledge that and see also if you can bring your attention gently back to your breathing, giving to yourself permission to have this break that you can if you want to think about the past or the future but you don't have to. You can just notice your breath in this peaceful moment of how we all came together this Saturday morning. And as you're watching your breath, see also if you can follow a little bit the journey in your body as it feels in your own body at this moment. Can you feel it in your nose? Can you feel it in your mouth? Can you feel it on your throat? Coming down your chest to your lungs or to your belly? And if you can feel it, can you feel it also how it comes out? Again, belly, chest, throat mouth, nose. And can you notice the gentle movement of the body as it welcomes the breath in and then out? And if so, where would you feel it more? Just gently noticing. And as you notice, your breath, give yourself a moment also to see if you can start bringing the breath down, further down from your belly to your left leg and left seam, through your left ankle, all the way out through your left foot leaving the left foot out in the room and back in from your nose. Breathing it in from your nose, down your mouth, throat, chest, belly, 
left thigh, sin, ankle, left foot, out of the room and back in again. And just take a moment to see if you can follow a few rounds of that, of the breath coming in and out, in and out, in from your nose, out from your left foot. And as you're watching your breath coming out from your left foot to the room and back your nose and through your left foot, see if you can now gently bring your attention to that left foot, allowing the breath to remain there in the background, but also bringing the curious focus of your attention to the left foot. Scan for any sensations, anything of interest, anything worth noting. We're not trying to change it. We're not trying to judge it. We're just noticing it. Noticing our left toes, our left sole, the top of our foot, our left ankle. And moving our attention now even further up to our left seam and to our left calf, to our left knee, to our left thigh, front and back, to our left hip and buttocks as the support our weight on our chair. And now experimenting with moving the gentle focus of our attention across to our right foot, right toes, right sole of the foot, right top of the foot, always having our breath in the background, our right ankle, going a little bit further up on our right seam and our right calf, our right knee, our right thigh, the top of our thigh and behind our thigh, our right buttocks, our whole buttocks as a support our weight, coming around across to our belly and pelvis. Noticing anything worth noticing, not trying to change it or judging it, but acknowledging it, seeing how our body is today in this instance, so we can carry this knowledge and relationship with us for the rest of the day. Breathing always gently in and out. When our mind scatters and thinks of other things, noticing them and then bringing also our attention back to our body, building our relationship, noticing further up our chest and coming behind to our lower back, noticing any sensations, anything worth noticing there or the absence of anything. Moving across our spine, up between our shoulder blades, even to the top of our shoulders. Bringing our attention gently to our left shoulder. And then moving it down to our left hand. Tips of our fingers the palm of our hand, the top of our hand, our wrist, even noticing any sensation, but also feeling that might come up. And take note of that. Again, whether joy, 
whether something unpleasant, not trying to change it, just acknowledging it as part of ourselves. Our left forearm, our left elbow, our left arm, and again up on our left shoulder, moving across our chest to our right shoulder, and then bringing our attention down to our right hand. The right hand fingertips, our right palm, the top of the hand, our right wrist, right forearm, right arm, and again up to our right shoulder, moving to the middle and taking a moment to notice our throat and then behind our neck, the back of our head, all the way up to the top of our head, moving across to our forehead, around our left eye, around our right eye, our nose, cheeks, mouth muscles. And bringing again our attention to our breathing, scanning on our own our body, bringing our attention to anything that attracted our curiosity more and bringing our gentle attention there. Seeing what happens if we try to breathe into that area. Having the breath sweep through it, in and out. In and out. And bringing your attention to your body as a whole, See if you can feel your breathing sweeping through it, through your nose, out of your toes, and back in again, bringing life with it, bringing you to the here and now, in and out, through, in through our nose, out through our toes connecting us with the environment around us, making us part of a whole. And as we're connecting with everything around us, see if you can also bring your attention to the surface of your body, starting to prepare yourself for this stretching class and setting your intention what would you like to experiment with today? Which part of your body you feel will need a little bit more attention? Setting the dial of your intention where you want it to be today in this very moment. Start bringing some energy to your fingertips and your toes, perhaps by wiggling them about. Remembering where you're sitting, where the rest of us are, and when you feel ready, preparing yourself to return your gaze to the room, opening your eyes fully, returning your attention to the room, taking a deep breath, and when you breathe out, getting yourself fully ready for the rest of this session. As you're coming around to the room, make certain that you check with your body what you need in this present moment. Do you need a bit of a drink? Do you need to change something about your position? Do you need to do any gentle movement? Just respond to the need of the here now. <clears throat> because it's morning and Saturday, I can see most of us have a need for a drink. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. So what we're now going to do is we're going to um, we're going to uh, 
start with our usual warm ups. <laughs> so before we start stretching, we will start with warm ups. Warm ups are exactly that. The only ambition is to bring some energy and some warmth to our body and a little bit of playfulness, perhaps, if that is available to you. Um, thank you also for your comments in the chat. They are very helpful. And um, what I will ask you is to start perhaps with bringing some energy in our shoulders as so many of our important muscles that also come to our head start from our shoulders. So gently rotate them to the front and see where they are. Some of you might wanna do bigger or smaller circles, just do what feels right to the here and now. And then a few rounds to the back. And if anyone is feeling particularly Playful, you can even try one to the front and one to the back. <laughs> See how that feels. And then the reverse. It took a lot of effort for me to be able to do this one because I'm, as I'm completely dyspraxic. I'm like those TikToks that they say, what does this mean? <laughs> shrug our shoulders and let them go. Shrug and let them go. Shrug and let them go. Bring the same nice circular movements to our wrists one way. Perhaps even listen for them. Sometimes our wrists, when we move them, they're like, why haven't you moved me for so long? And the other way around. They might start creaking and so on, really enjoying having some movement. Up and down also. Very good. And even allowing our arms to swing back and forth. Very good. And now that we've warmed up a little bit, Let's see if we can try some very gentle swings from side to side. We're not fully swinging. For some of you, swinging might feel really nice and you might really want to rotate. For some, it might be a painful movement. So just see what happens if you do something small, just allowing your arms to go from side to side. And now that we warmed up our upper body, I will ask you if you can do the same with your neck. Just let it go, gently go from side to side. Remember, we're not stretching yet. We're just warming up or even not front and back, nodding and looking up, seeing where you are with that movement, even allowing your head to turn from side to side, very gentle. And after you've done all this movement, check with yourself if you would enjoy to do a full rotation, the one way and then the other way. If that's not available to you, just do any movement you feel like. Very good, everyone. Just a reminder, all our movements you, we can do from sitting or standing. It's up to you. At any time, you can stand up and come back to sitting and vice versa. I won't be interfering with whatever you do. Even if I see you sitting and looking around, I won't interfere because my assumption is that you're doing the right thing for your body on the here and now, okay? So let's march a little bit on the spot. Sitting, it will look just you like raising your knees. If you're standing up, it will look more like marching. Yeah, very good, everyone. And as we've done that, you might also want to bring a little bit of a hula hoop movement going on, whether from standing or sitting. Remember to do both directions. It will look like that if you're sitting. Remember both directions. I like to alternate personally from direction to direction. Even run yourself front and back almost like a cat stretch. And if you're standing, this is how it will look. Use your, even your arms to help you out. If you're standing up, pedal your feet on the floor, like so. And you can do the same from sitting, like so. And if you're sitting, just swing your legs back and front. And if you're standing, you can do the same, but obviously one leg at a time because you need one leg to support your weight. <laughs> and finally, rotating our ankles one way and the other way. One way and the other way. If you're sitting, you can do both of them together. If you're standing, again, you will need to do one at a time because obviously, again, you need a foot to support your weight. <laughs> so you cannot do the, both of them together. Fantastic. Uh, one thing that I want to say to people is right now, we really moved all our joints. 
So if on a day you find it very difficult to do a full stretching class or a full exercise class, you can just do those five movements of warm up and still you moved all your joints. You don't always have to make your, have to make ourselves suffer or too tired when it's not there for us. Fantastic. And let's start now with our uh, stretches. As always, we're going to trust that breath to guide us and offer us that moment that we need to see how far we want to go. Reminder, when we breathe in, we find that as an opportunity to elongate ourselves. The elongation should feel like moving from the top of our head away from our tailbone that is coming in. So it's longer. It's not crossing, it's longer. And find that length in yourself. The other thing to remind you is our middle position is our reset button. If at any time you struggle, come back to here, as with our body scan, just watch your breathing and make then the decision of how you want to move next. Okay? So breathing in, making ourselves longer and breathing out, let everything go. We're start going to start with our bending our head forward. So breathing in, making ourselves longer, breathing out, allowing our head to come to the front. See, to a chest where it wants to land on its own. No force used. Two more breaths. Every movement will be about three breaths if you want to follow your own breathing. One more breath. Remember, always when we breathe in, we elongate, even in this position. And when we breathe out, we go as far as our body wants to go. Sometimes it might be a little bit further up. We might have gone before too far. In our next breath in, elongate yourself and start as you breathe out to roll yourself up. Always come back to the middle position sooner if you feel that this is too long for you. Breathing in, making yourself longer and breathing out, relaxing and looking up. Three more breaths. Breathing in, making yourself longer. Breathing out. Allowing your head to go where it wants to go, whether further down or further up. Breathing in, allowing your spine to get longer and finding the length even in this position. And breathing out, rolling yourself up. I might not count all the breaths because I'm also uh, talking, but uh, follow your own breathing, as we said. Calculate about three breaths in every position. Again, breathing in, making ourselves longer and breathing out, allowing our right ear to drop our, towards our right shoulder. Three more breaths. Even here, see, when you breathe in, you can find the length in this position. So nothing feels cramped, nothing feels hard. We find the softness. And when we breathe out, allowing our head to drop where it wants to go. I think we have about one more breath left here. Except if it is too much for you, at any time go back. Breathing in, becoming longer. And when we breathe out, rolling ourselves gently back to the middle. When you come to the middle, remember this is your reset button. So respond to whatever your body is telling you on this instance. Breathing in, growing longer and breathing out allowing our left ear to drop towards our left shoulder. Perhaps you'll notice some differences from side to side. And perhaps your body needs different things. Breathing in, becoming longer, finding the softness in what it is we're doing. Letting go of any struggle. Breathing in, becoming longer. Breathing out, allowing our head to go where it wants to go. And in our next breath in, we become longer. And breathing out, we roll ourselves up. Very good, everyone. Now we will be doing the turns of our head. So breathing in, becoming longer. And breathing out, allowing our head to turn towards our right side. 
over a right shoulder if that is available to us. Always breathing in, becoming longer and breathing out, looking a right shoulder. Notice the differences that where your shoulders are might make if they're high or if you allow them to completely rest and relax away from your ears. What do you feel different? In our next breath in again, we become longer and when we breathe out, we gently, slowly roll ourselves to the front. Preparing ourselves to do the left side, using the right side to advise us what we should be doing on the left side. So becoming longer when we breathe, and when we breathe out, see how far we want to go on the left. Using your own breath and your own speed when you breathe in, longer when you breathe out. Turn any stiffness, any pain, anything that you don't like, experiment with just embracing and accepting it and not fighting with it. And what happens then? What does your body tell you to do? Is it to go further or is it to stay where you are or even become, come a little bit to the front? See what happens when we do not judge what our body is generating, but we're trying to communicate with it. In our next breath in, we become longer. And when we breathe out, we come to the middle. Very good, everyone. Now that we've done our neck, we're going to move and do the same movements for our torso. A very interesting part about our torso is that we have the ribs. I will invite you all to think of your ribs as accordion. So when we come to the front, we bring them together and opening them in the back. When we go back, the reverse. And when we go to side to side, we open them to the side that we lean, and then the other one. I'm just going to take a second to also read uh, any notes. Okay, fantastic. Thank you, everyone, for your comments. So let's start. So breathing in, we grow longer. Breathing out, we round ourselves to the front, bringing our chest in every rib together and opening in the back. If you want to make it stronger, you can take your hands together and just pull gently towards the front, sinking your chest in, rounding yourself, relaxing your head. One thing that I will ask you to do is notice with all these movements that we move our ribcage, what happens to our lungs and our breathing? And also how it feels. It, we many times forget to move our torso throughout the day in modern living. So how does it feel when we finally remember about it? And as always, when you breathe in, you find the length even in this position. And when you breathe out, you allow your body to relax into the position it wants to go. In our next breath, we're going to again find the length, allow our arms to relax if we were using them. And when we breathe out, roll ourselves gently back up. The head is the last thing to come up. Notice if any of you also feel lightheaded with doing that because we really stimulate a lot of things in our spine with these movements. Now we will do the opposite. We will open our chest, welcoming the world and bring our vertebras together. See if you can still find the length and not crush yourself on the back, but overarching. So breathing in, lengthening. Breathing out, start opening our chest, bringing our ribs back together. And if you want to make it stronger, you can use your arms by bringing them to your sides and back. Opening your heart and your chest to the world like a sunflower. And when you breathe in, experiment with finding the length even in this position, see if you can make things softer. And when you breathe out, allowing yourself to fully sink where you are. In our next breath in, we're going to find the length and bring our arms to the front if you were using them. And as you breathe out, first bring your head up and then roll the rest of yourself up again. Very good, everyone. We're going to do the same thing, side movements. The main thing to tell you is that our movements are going to be from our ribs mainly, not from our waist. 
it's not exact science. So if you move your waist, don't worry about it, but see if you can bring a lot of movement in your ribs. So we will bring first our ribs together on the right side. So bringing your ribs together on the right side, you can use your hands to make it stronger if you want by taking them to your shoulders. See if you can bring one rib onto the other and let open the other ones. Always breathing in, finding the length even in this position and breathing out, see where you softly want to land. Two more breaths of that, if that is available to you. And in our next breath in, we grow longer as always, let go of our arms if we were using them and even use them to help our support come to the middle. Very well, everyone. Again, I will invite you to notice what happens to your lungs and your breathing with all those movements. Okay, let's prepare for the left side. Breathing in, becoming longer. Breathing out, allowing our left shoulder to come towards our left bottom of ribs. Use your hands if you wanna make it stronger. When you bring it in, finding the length, breathing out, just bringing the ribs together. Two more breaths here. Now next breath in, become longer. Let go of your hands and perhaps even help them to pull you up. And when you breathe out, push yourself gently up to the middle position. Movements of this area of our body are very good to uh, activate our lungs. And also they're very good to produce endorphins and stimulate our parasympathetic and sympathetic systems in harmony. So you might find them very good as when you want to energize yourself, basically. Very good, everyone. We will move now in our lower back. For our lower back, what we will do is let ourselves fold forward, whether from sitting or standing. When you breathe in, you grow longer. And when you breathe out, you start lowering yourself and also round yourself. You might use your hands to support you in your thighs so you feel some control over this movement, if it, especially if it is painful to you. Breathing in, finding the length, checking with yourself how far you want to go. Breathing out, folding. Two more breaths. If this is a comfortable position for you, if you hold it for a little bit longer, it will be a, bring a lot of blood in your brain and a lot of people find it is very helpful, similar to hanging upside down, basically. So just bear that in mind if that is something you would like to experiment with. Come up at any time by rolling yourselves up if this is too uncomfortable for you. And see what also happens if you relax, not in the lowest position, but also not completely stuck, somewhere that might be available to you. In our next breath in, lengthen yourself and gently with the use even of your hands, start rolling yourselves up, bringing yourself to the middle position, taking for any dizziness. Very good, everyone. Now we will go backwards. If you're standing up, you can do that by pressing your hips forward. If you're sitting, you might want to support your neck so you can fall behind. Again, bringing your hips forward from the sitting position. And as always, breathe in, grow long. Breathe out, relax where your body wants to go. Breathe in, grow long. Breathing out, taking your body when it wants to go. One more breath. If any of you, of course, wants to keep this longer than can. Breathing in, growing long. And when you breathe out, help yourself with your hands, especially if you're sitting for your neck, to come back in the middle position. Now that we've done a lot of stretches for our spine, we're really prepared ourselves for a twist. For me, uh, twists are the king and queen 
and prince and princess of our movements. It helps mobilize all our, our internal organs and also it really helps with the movement of our nerves and our nervous system. Don't forget our nervous system is a tissue and it needs to move and actually that movement is quite important in, the, um, in all the movements that we can do in the day. So I will invite you all to embrace stretches, even though they do get a very bad rap, I don't know why. <laughs> the only thing you want to do is listen to your body. We're not talking about violent or forceful um, twist, and perhaps like today you want to warm up and prepare your body before being able to do it. So let's go for it. Breathing, we will start, sorry, from the right side. Breathing and growing longer. And when you breathe out, just bring your hands on the right side and just let them land there. We're not really having any ambition yet. In our next breath in, again, we grow longer. And when we breathe out, we see if we can take hold with our left hand of our right thigh and bring our right hand behind us, whether in our hip or behind the chair, and just relax there as we breathe out. And now we are actually in our twist. As we're in our twist, just breathe in and out gently here. Breathing in, finding the length and the softness. Breathing out, see where your body wants to land and if you find it peaceful here for yourself, soft. In our next few breaths, we will attempt to twist a little bit more if that is what your body wants to do. By doing that though, if you find you went too far, perhaps return to this position at any time and you're still in your twist. So breathing in, growing long. And when you breathe out, just turn your head over your right shoulder. And by pulling yourself gently, see if you can follow a little bit that movement also from your chest. Breathing out, in and out here, relaxing in this position. If that is available to you, in our next breath in, we will again see if we can grow longer and look over our elbow on our right side. And when we breathe out, land where it feels comfortable to us here. And again, just gentle breathing in and out, experimenting with what our body wants to do at any time coming further to the front if we went too far. Breathing in, finding the length. Breathing out, taking our right hand and bringing it to the front. Breathing in, finding our length. Breathing out, turning our head to the front. Breathing in, growing long. And breathing out, completely coming to the middle. Take a little bit of of a moment to take stock of your experience, of what you tried, where you challenged yourself, which part of the challenge you felt happy with, which ones you thought, hmm, I'm not certain about that, and use that advice and experience to advise what you wanna do on the left side. When everybody's ready, breathe in, finding the length, and breathing out, bringing our hands now to our left side, and this is enough for the time being. In our next breath in again, we will find the length, and when we breathe out, we will take hold of our right hand of our left thigh, and our left hand behind us, or behind the chair that we sit. And now we are into our twist, breathe out and relax in this position. And just take a few breaths here. When you breathe in, lengthening, and when you breathe out, just allowing yourself to see if you can relax in this position and where you want to naturally be. You're in your twist. You don't have to go any further. At any time, please return here if you find that you went too far. In our next few breaths, we will attempt to go a little bit further. Breathing in finding our length, and if it is available to you, start turning your head over to your left shoulder to look over your left shoulder and perhaps following that movement with your upper torso, helping the movement with your left hand by pushing yourself, gently pushing yourself there, not violently. 
And when you breathe out again, see if you can relax in this position. And just take a few more breaths, breathing in and out, allowing your body to see where it wants to go. When we breathe in, we find length. When we breathe out, we find comfort. Last attempt, breathing in, finding length, and breathing out, see if we can now look over our left elbow and see where the challenge of the twist is for us. And breathing out, see if we can relax there rather than fight to go further. Just breathing in and out peacefully here, coming more to the front at any time if that is what is right for us. In our next breath in, we grow longer. And when we breathe out, we bring our left hand to, again to the front, breathing and becoming longer. And when we breathe out, bringing our head to the front, breathing in, becoming longer. And when we breathe out, completely coming to the middle. Thank you, everyone. Very well done. So we've done a mighty twist. Twists are also very helpful because we want to be able to twist in our beds. We want to be able to twist so we come out of bed. We want to be able to twist so we come out of low seats, especially in cars. And also when we're in the toilet and we want to clean ourselves, we never talk about it, but it's a very important <laughs> movement. Okay, so now we will move to do some stretches for our legs. Again, you can do them from standing or sitting, what is available to you. We will start from the back of our legs. If you're sitting, you might want to come a little bit more to the edge so you have more space to straighten your leg. So straighten in front of you the right leg and pull your toes up. If you're standing up, it's the same thing. Just the leg on the front and pull your toes up. And as you're doing that, finding again the length, when you breathe out, see if you can lean forward from your hips, like a plank. And just allow a few breaths here. If you're standing up, it will look like this. And again, when you breathe in, finding the length, when you breathe out, now allow your body to round and your chin to rest. And then see also when you breathe in and you lengthen, if when you breathe out, you can reach towards your toes. Some of you might be very flexible and you might even be able to take hold of your toes. For some of you that might be too hard, don't go there. Anything you stretch is the right stretch for you. We're not all equally flexible and we're not equally flexible in relationship to ourselves. In your next breath in, Grow long and start bringing your head up. And when you breathe out, push yourself up and let go of your foot. Uh, we will do the same thing on the left side. Pick your position, whether standing or sitting. Allow your legs to come completely straight in, in front of you. Pull your toes up. And when you breathe in, grow longer. And when you breathe out, from your hips, like a plank, just lean forward and feel how that feels. Just a couple of breaths here. When we breathe in, we become longer. And when we breathe out, we allow ourselves to round, chin to chest, and start reaching out for your toes. You don't have to reach them, just the movement that you aim for them. Very good, everyone. And in our next breath in, we grow longer. And as we breathe out, we allow our head to come up and gently push ourselves up and roll ourselves up. Very good, everyone, very good stretch. Now, what we're going to do, and it might be easier this one from sitting, is when you breathe in, take hold of your right knee, if that is available to you. And as you rest, see if you can bring it towards your back. Use your breath to find the relaxation and length in, even in your hip joint. If you can kind of push out perhaps towards your hands to find the length and when you breathe out, bring closer to your belly. 
So breathing in, press your knee against your hands almost to find the length in the hip joint. And when you breathe out, bring towards your belly. For some of you, it might look like that. It doesn't have to be far where it's natural for you. And when you will breathe in next breath, again, find the length. And when we breathe out, allow our leg to come back to the floor. And prepare yourselves for the left side using the experience from the right side. Again, breathing in, growing longer. Breathing out, taking hold of our knee. Breathing in, pressing our knee against our hands to find that length in our hip joint. Breathing out, bringing it towards our chest. Same thing. Breathing in, pressing against our knees to find the length. Breathing out, bringing it closer to our chest. Breathing in, pressing against our hands, finding the length. Breathing out, see how, where it wants to go. And in our next breath in, again, we press against our hands to find the length. And when we breathe out, we completely let everything relax. This movement, you can do again from sitting or standing. You might find it a little bit easier from standing. So if you're sitting, we will start from the right side, perhaps slide to the, um, to the right side of your chair to be able to bring your leg back so you can push your hip forward and feel a nice stretch here. If you're standing, take hold of someone, bring your leg to the back and press your hips forward. Pick the position that works for you. I'll demonstrate from sitting just because it's harder to see. So breathing in, finding the length, breathing out, pressing our hips forward. Two more times at your own pace. Breathing in length, breathing out, pressing hips forward, thigh goes back. One more time. Hips forward, thigh back. And in our next breath in, we bring ourselves forward, let go of our hands. And when we breathe out, we start sliding again, our legs to the front, preparing ourselves for the other side. And again, we bring our hip, we come to the edge of our seat on the left, allowing our hip to come to the side of our, uh, our left uh, side of the chair. And when we breathe in, we find the length. When we breathe out, we push hip back, hips forward. Weights available for you. My movement might be a little bit exaggerated, so you can see. Breathing in, growing long, breathing out, pushing back. If you're standing, it will look like this. If somebody is super flexible, they might even be able to hold their leg. Only if that is available to you. And in our next breath in, we grow longer, let go of our hands, allow our body to relax. And as we breathe out, we bring again our leg to the front. And last but not least for our ankles. Again, this one you might find easier if you're standing up. It's the one that you take a small step to the front and just bend your front knee, allowing the back to stretch. If you're sitting, you can do the same thing really by putting your toes, really bending your knee, putting your toes down and then starting pushing your heel down. So toes down, really bend knee and start pushing your toes down. And see if you can take a few breaths of breathing in, pressing and breathing out, relaxing. One more breath. And when you come to the end of your breaths, allow your ankle to relax. And then see if you can put the top of your toes down. If you're sitting, it will look like that. If you're standing, it will look like that. So again, I demonstrate from sitting, toes down, really bend knees so it allows you to do it and press the top of your toes down. Breathing in and out through your toes here to really allow for a nice stretch on the front. One more breath. And then breathe out and completely let go. And we will move to do the same things on the other side. So if you're doing it from sitting, toes down, 
really bend knee so you can start pressing your heel down. Very good, everyone. If you're standing up, remember, it looks a little bit different. You bend the front knee to allow you for the same stretch. One more breath. Fantastic. And in your next breath in, find your length and breathing out, relax to prepare for the opposite movement. So now we're putting our toes down. If we are sitting, it looks like that, really bent knee so we can put our toes down. If we're standing up, it will look like this. So breathing in and breathing out, allowing our ankle to sink towards the front. Really feel a nice stretch on front of our toes. And see how that feels. That's a movement that we don't uh, often do. It might feel strange like when we pull our fingers up. Two more breaths here. Very good, everyone. Breathing in and out, allowing everything to relax. And I want you to just take a moment for yourself. And you might decide that you want to do a stretch for your shoulders. Actually, let's do also a set stretch for our shoulders. I think I really forgot them. Breathing in, lifting our arm. Breathing out, bringing them across to our left shoulder. And taking hold of our elbow. Gently pulling towards the sides. Some of you might even find it nice if you bend your elbow. Breathing in, finding our length so we don't crush our body in this position. And breathing out, pulling to where we want to pull. One more breath. And breathing out, pulling further. In our next breath in, we open our arm again. And when we breathe out, we let go of our hand and allow it to rest on the side, preparing for the other side. Again, breathing in, raising our hand, our left hand, bringing it to the side. And when we breathe in again, as we breathe out, allowing it to come to the right side, taking hold of our right hand, of our, sorry, left elbow with our right hand and pulling across. Two more breaths here. If any one of you wants to bend your elbow to make it stronger, you can. Remember when you breathe in, you find your length so you don't feel your joints crossing into one another. And when you breathe out, you use that to relax into the position. In our next breath in, we open our arm if we had it closed. And as we breathe out, we bring everything to the front, allowing them to rest. Whether you're sitting or standing, bringing your hands together, breathing in, raising them to where it is available to you. If it is available, bring it all the way up, do that. If it's not, it doesn't matter. Where you bring them, you look to push them forward so you feel a length in your shoulders. So you don't feel your shoulders crossing, you pull away, having a nice length. Very good, everyone. And in our next breath in, we pull again away. And when we breathe out, we see even if we can relax our hands behind our head. If you are in this position, perhaps it's in front of your throat where you relax them. Very good, everyone. One more breath here. And in our next breath in, see if you can open now your elbows and in your breath out, relax here. If your hands were in the front, just do the same thing in the front. Or if it becomes tiring, just bring your hands on the side to rest them there and open in this way. And in our next breath in, lift our arms again. And when we breathe out, allow everything to rest to the front. Very good, everyone. And last but not least for our wrists, bringing our hands together. When we breathe out, stretching them out away from us. I'm doing it quite high, but for some of you, it might be here better, or you might want to do it further up. See where it feels right for you. There's no right or wrong with this one. Very good. 
And in our next breath in, we change the interlace and do the same thing. And pick how far you want them to be. See what changing the interlace does to you. As I said, I'm like those TikToks that I'm like, I don't know what that means. I just know one interlace. That might be you as well. Very good. And in our next breath out, we let go one hand of the other and the left hand takes hold of the top of our right hand. And now we press our right hand against our left hand and the left hand really pulls towards us. Again, I have it quite high so you can see it on camera, but it can be further down. So you feel a nice stretch on the front of your wrist and forearm. Very good, everyone. Two more breaths and take stock of your favorite stretches so far. <laughs> so you can do more of them when you need them. And then we change the hands, right hand taking hold of the top of the left hand. And now the right hand pulls our left hand towards us, whereas the left hand presses against the right hand. Two more breaths, yeah. I have very painful wrists, so that's my favorite stretch in the world. See how it feels for you. And when we breathe out completely, let go everything, go, do any movement that you want. <laughs> Be as silly as you want. <laughs> Congratulations. You've done a full hour of body scans, warms up, stretching. You moved every joint. You have a lot to celebrate and be uh, happy about and hopefully energized for the rest of the day. I'm going to stop the recording now so I can check with uh, everyone here how they're feeling.